In this video, I'm going to talk about Intel's NUC Bare Bones Mini PC. And NUC stands for Next Unit of Computing. And what this computer is, is it's a bare bones kit, which means that you will have a processor and a motherboard and a case. Now, moving on to the actual computer and what configurations you can get. You can get an i3 or an i5 model of Intel's Haswell processors, which are their fourth gen processors, and you can also get Intel's third generation processors, and you can also get a Celeron processor if you wanted to get that instead. But I have looked at the information for the Haswell versions, so this is what I'm going to be basing this video off. So, with the Haswell version, for storage, you could either use a 2.5 inch drive, which is one that you get in a laptop or a netbook, and and that will need extra fans to make sure the drives are cool and stuff. And that will also be a bit thicker than the version that uses an mSATA drive, which is flash storage, such as an SSD, but it will plug right into your motherboard instead of using a SATA cable. It supports up to 16 gigs of RAM, and this is SO DIMM RAM, which is laptop memory. You can have your Intel i3 or i5 processors, but you can't change them, so make sure the model that you get is the one that you can use in the future, because these processors are soldered onto the motherboard. For graphics, you have HDMI and Display Ports. It has built-in audio, and it has built-in Intel graphics. It has four USB 3 ports, two on the front, two on the back. There are two USB 2 ports, I think, inside the case. You get one SATA port, but and you also get a nifty little feature that will be good if you're going to use this as a home theater PC. It has an infrared receiver on the front of the computer. Alongside the infrared receiver, you also have a headphone and microphone input so you could use headphones with it or speakers and it also comes with a mounting bracket for your TV so you could put the computer on the back of the TV and it could be a very nice media center box but that's it for this video for more tech news how to's and more make sure to subscribe to our channel and visit richardtech.net for more tech news thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video